Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove acne in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Florin. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Florin.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. Today's episode is all about removing acne and we've basically built up a bunch of different techniques and tried a bunch of things out and figured out the best technique for removing acne in Photoshop and that's what today's episode is all about. And we got the idea because someone left a comment on our YouTube channel, thank you so much. Nisha said, how can you remove acne in Photoshop? So Nisha, this episode is dedicated to you and everyone else who wants to learn how to remove acne in Photoshop. The image we're working on today is from the awesome folks at Photolia.com. It's a stock website and you can find all kinds of really cool images on there for download. Now, this is a really great acne and I was like, okay, if I'm gonna show you people how to remove acne, we gotta find an image that has a lot of acne. I'm not gonna, just gonna do one pimple and call it an episode. So here is a great image because it gives us a couple of problems, big problems that we have when we're encountering acne. And the first one is the redness. It's gonna cause a lot of redness on your skin. I had acne in high school and it sucked and I know <laughs> even if you pop a zit, you're still gonna have some redness. So we're gonna show you how to get rid of the redness first and then we're gonna show you guys how to actually get rid of each of these little guys. To, it's gonna to totally change this image by the time we're done. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's go to our adjustment layers and I'm gonna go down to hue slash saturation. Okay, now, here in the hue saturation, you can just click and drag the hue and it'll do it basically just change what's going on into your entire image. Or you can actually select your color range. So in this case, it's gonna only select reds or yellows, whatever have it. So I'm gonna click on the reds and this is gonna allow us a lot more options to kind of like really narrow down exactly what we want to affect. So we're just affecting the reds now. And what I'm gonna do, I wanna see what, I'm, what the changes I'm going to make are. So I'm gonna just temporarily crank up the hue and the saturation, okay? So we get something like this. Now, I, this is not how we want it to be in the end. This is just gonna help me see. Okay, so hue and saturation are cranked up on the reds. Now, what, there's a slider down here, and you may never have noticed this before. Basically what the slider does is it takes the above color and turns it into the beneath color. So it's taking red now and turning it into green. Now if I click on this slider right here in the middle, I can actually move this around and it's going to affect different parts of my image. Now as I go to the left right over here, you can see that it's right about here, it's targeting those pimples, which is really, really cool. So over to the right, it's just kind of affecting all the reds. But as I bring it over to the left, it's starting to target just those pimple areas. So this is exactly what we want. I want, I'm using this like bright green color to see where it's targeting. So it's good, it should highlight your lips as well as any of the pimple areas. So this is, this looks good as far as showing us what's actually going to be affected. So now that we know what's going to be affected, we're gonna bring our saturation down to zero. We're gonna bring our hue, I'm gonna hit zero there as well. So it's totally back to normal. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring my hue to the right just a little bit, okay? And that's gonna give it more of a skin tone color. So. In, you know, I could bring it to the left and it's gonna be horrible. To the right is gonna give us a little bit closer to skin tone. I'm also gonna take my lightness and we're gonna bring that up as well. All right, there we go. And we can bring up our saturation just a little bit as well. Okay, and you wanna find a hue that's right there similar to your color ranges. So hue, saturation, and lightness, bring all those up once you've targeted those reds. Okay, let's go ahead and look what this, see what this looks like with the before and after. I'm just gonna turn this off and on. And you can see it's taking care of a lot of our redness. Now, we need some color back in our lips. So we're just gonna click on our hue saturation layer mask and I'm gonna paint with black with a regular paintbrush right there on the lips. There we go and it's gonna bring the color back. Now you can see it's also getting rid of some of this color that's in the cheeks and things like that. It's okay, if we need to bring that back after we get rid of this acne, it's totally okay, we can bring that back afterwards. So there's step one, getting rid of the redness and this is a really great way to do it. Okay, step two, we're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna use the Spot Healing Brush. Now, the Spot Healing Brush, they've actually made a bunch of great changes with the Spot Healing Brush and I like it a lot more than I used to. So if you guys have Photoshop CC, CC 2014, or even CS6, you're gonna have access to these features. So the Spot Healing Brush, I'm gonna click on this Content Aware and that's gonna figure out what's around this actually, you know, the area that I'm actually trying to get rid of and it's going to fill it in automatically. They've really done a good job with this. So Content Aware and I'm gonna click on Sample All Layers. That's gonna make sure 
I can actually do this on a new layer. All right, and now all I have to do is kind of paint over all of my blemishes. So I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet here, but you can use a mouse for this. I would recommend using about the same brush size as the actual blemish. So in this case, because I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet, I'm just not pressing very hard over these areas where I have my blemishes. So I wanna cover about what the blemishes are. So a larger blemish, you'll just kind of cover up more of the area and a smaller blemish, you'll just kind of cover a little bit less of the area. And that's gonna help keep things really nice and even. So what I do is I, I go over this over a couple different passes. My first one is all about like, getting rid of the actual, you know, like the, the, the spots that you totally see like that, you know, that spot, things like that, that little guy. So this is like my first pass. It's basically going and actually taking care of like those spots that we see. Now my second pass, which I'm gonna start in just a little bit, is kind of gonna take care of like more blotchy areas and things like that. So this is pretty good. We're, we're looking, there we go. That's a blotchy area that I'm talking about right there. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Let's just go ahead and remove those spots and yeah, we're on our way to looking good. So now let's try to remove the blotchy areas. So we got rid of the blotchy areas with color. Now I'm gonna do it with you know lights and darks and things like that. So we're gonna zoom out here on the image and then like this area, it's just a little bit blotchy. So I'm just gonna kind of paint over that entire area. It's gonna sample skin that's a little more even and fill it in for me. Even this area here and that area there. And the cool thing about this tool is if you don't like what you've done, like if you paint over and it doesn't look good, you can either use your eraser tool or you can just paint it in again. Because what it does is it's gonna sample a different part of your image and it's gonna paint it right over on top of your image again. All right, we're almost done here. I'm just kind of targeting these areas and you can see this took almost no time because the majority of our work was done when we got rid of the redness in the image. So now we're just kind of taking care of some of the texture areas. All right, and doing some skin smoothing while we're at it. So that's just gonna take care of the larger areas. So start off with the small little pores and things like that, then zoom out and take care of your larger areas. Okay, now this looks great. We're gonna add a little bit more redness back to the skin just because it's like to help it look a little bit more natural or like it did before. So we're gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna grab my brush tool. I'm gonna grab this color that's in our lips already and I'm just gonna paint right here over top of our face. Change this from normal down to something like soft light and then we can just bring it way down. And that's just gonna help add some little bit more color. Again, that's not a totally necessary step, but generally faces will have some color changes, right? You're gonna see some like oranges, some reds and things like that. And if you just bring all the hue and the saturation like we did earlier, if you make it all the exact same hue, it's not gonna look exactly right. So with this, I'm just adding a little bit more color into the face. There we go, we can do down here as well. And that's just gonna help it look a little bit more realistic and not just like we just did it in Photoshop and now he's just got one color on his face. All right, very cool. Let's go ahead and see the before and the after. So here's our before and our after. All right guys, that's it for removing acne in Photoshop. You can see how easy it is because we take care of the redness first and then we take care of our textures. And thanks again for Nisha for suggesting this episode. And if you guys have ideas for future episodes you'd like to see here on flurn.com, just leave them in a comment down below because that's how we get our ideas for our episodes. And if you like what we're doing here at Flurn, you wanna get a couple free videos every single week, just subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can do by clicking on the screen right now. Thanks so much guys, and we'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. That's it for removing Photoshop <laughs> in acne. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and plop away. Bah! It, bah! To bleh, bleh, bleh. Bleh. <laughs> that will be a good blooper.